Hello! Thank you for stickers! Thank you for the rock. Thank you for uh, taking yourself away from the rock. Try. And thank you for the monster with the thing on his face. Pensive Troll! Apparently that is the name of the thing. Hello! Hello! How are we all? It's a terrible name. I, thought, I, I think it's a pun on pen. That's the best I've got as to why it's called that. How are we all doing? Are we all well? I hope. I trust. I pray. Well, I don't, but I would do. You don't have a 20 minute long video of Jonah Marbles teaching her Tawara to sit. <laughs> oh dear. Did you already feel it awful? Oh no, Chippy, is your brain not slowed down yet? It's a nuisance. So, yes. We're doing Forest of Doom, aren't we? I thought I put 
chat on screen while I'm rambling. Ah, arguments have already begin have already begun. Beginned begat begandled. Yeah, it's, you're feeling nah, it's just been one of those days. Isn't that a uh, an opening lyric to a limp biscuit song? So well, hopefully things can pick up a little bit. Hopefully you can, you know, cure that with a bit of surge and such. Your brain slowed down slightly, but so does the rest of your body, and now you just feel really tired and tense and all muscles are sore. Oh no, that's a shame. Lincoln Park? Probably. It's that same sort of era. Um, yeah. You have to go pick up a package at a random store. UPS access point. Go to the office, then go to the post office, then cry. Oh no. I mean, if you have to do that last one, sure, but... If you could possibly do the things before that so that you don't need to do the last one, that'd be, that'd be nice. Turns out it's just been a no good, awful day for everybody. Oh, no. I, I feel like I've had an unremarkable day, and I feel bad. <laughs> I'm here. Hello. I, I now have no pressure whatsoever to try and make this an entertaining time. So... What are we doing? Well, last time we uh, finished, we sat on a oak chair, old oak chair, particularly one that was covered in moss, for a small amount of time and then hopped off. Having already put bits of clay on it, poked it with a stick, looked around it. It's the thing that happened. Uh, it's always an entertaining time with you, Thank you very much. It's always a fun time uh, interacting with you guys. You might fall asleep, no promises. That's absolutely fine. Anything I can do to help? Uh, Borderlands 3 is just failing before it really got going. Just took the wind out of yourself. Oh, yeah. That's Saturday. It's gone are the days when people release a game bug-tested. But here we are. Uh, right. Yes, we poked a chair. We have a lot of things in our inventory. I think I have fixed the bot in such a way that it will... If the message it's trying to say is too long, it will send it in several messages. I think I've done that. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It was slightly too long there, so it cut it into two. Uh, yeah. So it shouldn't just be the inventory, it should be anything that it says, but because I like to make things general where possible. This is our inventory. It's there, these things. If you need any explanation, do let me know. It's also in the same order that it appears on screen here. We have 50 gold, 8 provisions, some of which may or may not be boar, and some of which may or may not be fish. Man, merman, merson. That was the word. We got some dust of levitation last time by winning an arm wrestle, inexplicably. We killed a boar. And then butchered the boar. To get provisions. And then we found a chair. That was all that happened last time. So, if we look at the map, where we are. Um, I need to draw the chair on the map. Let me do that. Now, I will do so in the appropriate colour and with the appropriate tools. Because I'm like that. We're back in the forest. So we, we went from the plains from all the grassy areas, and we're now back in the forest, and there was a chair. An old oak chair. Covered in moss. And there it is. Shaped our fish and meat to look like bread. Yes, it's surprising how skilled Pal is at this. It must be a, a family thing, maybe? Passed down? Right, so, uh, what do you want to do? I mean, the obvious thing would be to head south, but you can go wherever you so desire. You're too repressed to try, cry, you need to watch the thing to get them tears going. That's fine, so any tool that works. I mean, I, I can't laugh spontaneously, but I certainly do a lot of laughing when watching the right things. Emotions occasionally need a little bit of a kickstart. It's fine. Pal's family consists of shopkeepers that only sell food in the shape of bread. Jibby, stop making me want to draw things. Things on spontaneous laughter is a sign of madness. No, well, like I can't imagine a thing that will make me laugh. I can, I can, well, I, I can invent a thing that would make me laugh, but I can't. Thinking of a thing that I know is funny does not make me laugh, but watching that thing that is funny does. Um, so, you know what I mean. Frog smooch me. No. <laughs> don't frog smooch me. Or, or is that an instruction? If you remember a funny thing, you don't chuckle. You do depending on the thing and your mood. Yeah, I don't know. It's just different for different people, I suppose. Are we heading south? 
or are we, are we doing whatever? We also have a little bit of path here that we haven't connected up. Frog smooch, comma, Chris. Fair enough. Um, Pal gives a little peck on, on the head of Ribbit. Ribbit remains unfazed. Sooth east like a beast. Well, I'm glad that cleared that up. <laughs> Forgot to mention the very important frog smooch from last, screen, last stream. No, I've forgotten that. I, I forgot that happened. <laughs> but thank you for reminding us. <laughs> there was apparently a frog smooch. I should write these things down, really. I should probably keep, be, keep tracking, bleh, be keeping track of the things you have and haven't done here. So, for example, we've got, like, you know, the, the, the evil woman, the evil woman's hut. We just kind of ran away from that. But we did pick up this helmet, and we did take care of these tree men, and, you know, the wild hill men, we ran away from them. There's still a place to do in the well. Like, there's lots of little bits and pieces we've kind of left behind. Switch counter for Sir Ribbit. I mean, you can imagine that in between all these things is quite a long walk. This is not a small forest. Um, so you can imagine there's plenty of smooches in between. They, d they don't have to be explicit. So we're going to head southeast, which is going to lead us back here. Or... Pal just walking along the path, continuously smooching Sir Ribbit. Whatever you so desire. East. People are saying east. There's two for east now. One for east like a beast. But that's, that's more to do with the mannerism with which Pal moves, which I can imagine... Well, I'll leave up to your imaginations, at the very least. And quite possibly at the very most. Okay, so we've got two for east. We'll head, we'll head east. Okay, we head east. We we travel back north, past uh, the remains of the boar, and uh, head east in order to see what is there. I now need to find out what page that is, because you're walking all over the place. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Here we are, we're here. Do, 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 do. Right here. That's not the page. This is the page. I'm bad at this. My notation is inconsistent. Okay, cool. Pal heads back out of the forest. Uh, a little bit spooked by the, the fearsome old oak chair covered in moss. Uh, and decides to go back into open territory. The uh, It's about midday. Go back through the... Uh, the fields of the long grass and head across the little path that you had that you found heading east. You presume it's going to connect up to where you were before and your first trip through this place. Um, yeah, so you just head, you head east from there. Uh, but from not too far ahead comes the sharp noise of barking dogs drawing nearer. Suddenly a brown fox with eyes wide open in fear dashes past you, running west. The frantic yelping of dogs gets louder. There's dogs coming! There's not much to draw here, but what do you want to do? There's the dogs. So the only cue we have for this in particular is, is there's a sound. Oops. Doing things off screen. Hello, here we are. Hope it's Cerberus. What is the multiple barking sounds? So, <clears throat> can't eliminate the possibility. So I imagine this is still in long grass. And now begins the quiet portion of the streams, when I remember I have to draw things, because that's the point of the draw-through. We're actually... not much of the map left, is there? Like, we're, we're... I feel like I should start playing Metal Gear Solid to get ready for the next one, if that's what we're going to do. And there was a fox, if I remember correctly. How do you draw a fox? 
Um... What are other dog-based onomatopoeias? Do I like my purple name? I'm I'm fine with the purple. Maybe maybe, maybe a different purple to make it different. But other than that, I mean, I've already got my own classification, as it were. What's the what's the expression? The, my own category. So it wouldn't be too much to change it. That's. But I'm fine with purple. We have roll. That's the word. It's a simple word. Just inexplicably disappeared from my mind. We have a uh, hide fox in shirt. Distract dogs with meat. Prepare action. Wait and see if dogs are hostile to pal. If they are, distract with bread-shaped boar meat. <laughs> and yeet yourself away from them. And one make fox new pet. Um, a pal runs after the fox, but is long, long disappeared in the long grass uh, before they manage to get to it. Um... So instead, Pal gets out some meat, which I presume is a provision, and uh, one says to distract the dogs with the meat, but the other one says to wait and see what happens when they come closer. So I'm going to wait to see what happens when they come closer. Because the distraction wasn't urgent. Uh, where are we? Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Pal draws their hunk of bread-shaped meat and stands to face the presum presuming pack of dogs or possibly three-headed dog that is approaching. They come into view in a cloud of dust and galloping behind them is a masked tider, whatever whatever that is, um, wearing a long flowing cloak and riding a white stallion. He blows a horn and the pack of dogs comes to a sudden halt in front of you. There are four of them, dogs, that is, unfortunately, not, not Cerberus, and you see that they are hunting dogs. The stallion stands motionless behind them, with steam blowing from its nostrils in two long jets. I've got to draw a horse. The masked man looked to you without speaking. Tida. I don't know what Tida. Just some sort of. I imagine it's like a, a reference to Strider from Lord of the Rings. Who knows? So let's give them a plateau in which to be drawn. The grass inexplicably stops at this point. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> Tiger spider. <gasps> I mean, it's, it's... Wearing a mask. I think that was all that was really said. Tada just looks at us. It's, yeah, it's just there on the horse. Um, okay. Back to... Yeah, the grass just gets shorter here for some reason. Perspective. I should probably start a new vote. Ah, uh, there's no room for me to draw the entire horse. I'm just going to have to draw sort of the front of it. Enough for a figure to be... I've never drawn a person <laughs> sitting on a horse. This is going to be fun. Um... <laughs> The, I will have to adjust the scale as I go. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Have to do the horse challenge. Uh, I, I'm not timing, alas. I will do the horse challenge at some point, don't worry about it. 
Right now is not is not that time though. So here we are. So this is what you're getting instead. Kind of looks like a horse. Problem is every proportion of a horse feels wrong, and then you look at a photograph and you're like, oh no, that's pretty accurate. I suppose he's got a thing in his mouth. For riding, you know? If you click and drag, there's an option wheel for mod stuff. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay, now it's the legs, which is the best part. Never goes wrong. Um... I do have to also have to draw four dogs, apparently. I'm going to be wearing a cloak of some description. Cowl, you're a masked person. Probably hooded as well. Thank you very much for following. I, I, I suppose it has been. We were on Twitch sort of last time you were around. Hope, hopefully, you're doing well. Hope you're doing all right. And it's a crow. Hello, crow. And drow, 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 drow. Yeah, you know what I mean. You walked in on a horse. Oh yes, we yeah. <laughs> of course, when when Octo is here, I have for a horse. This horse. This is my <laughs> quick attempt at a horse. Oh, the steam coming out of its nostrils, apparently. You're summoned! Marvellous, well, it's, it's, uh, we're glad to have you here. This does not bode well for my challenge. <laughs> does it? <laughs> Whatever that may be. How, how does... Uh, hang on, if I, if I do that, and then back... Okay, so kind of ish. If in doubt, give it the hairy feet. Distracts from the bad anatomy. The only horse I have been proud of drawing was the one I did for. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what? Who? What is jilted? Jilted is yeah, spur spurned. Uh, there's a thing, isn't there? There's sort of like a thing for, to put feet on. I went to a stables once. <laughs> and his friend in your room. Ah, oh, thank you. That's very kind. I had, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> so yeah, for anyone who uh, who just popped in, um, there is. We we decided to go back a little bit. So this we we found a chair. We went back to the boar that we killed and decided to head east from there. So we're here at the moment, and we found four four dogs, and this friend. Those legs really don't look correct, but here we are. This is what I'm sticking with it. No, it's the head. The head is a bit wrong, maybe. Horses, what do you do? How do you do? How how dost thou? Wherefore art thou? Horses. Rocks fall, everyone dies. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to draw it, doesn't matter. Uh, and then there's four dogs whose heads I will draw here. Ah, uh, there were stickers. What, what's, what's, what's happening? There was a rock and there was an angry cat. I'm 
next time you draw a horse, uh, ask Oobs to draw you the horse and send it to you. Draw the entire scene and badly Photoshop Oobs' this horse in it. I, I, if I had any foresight, I would do that. What other dogs? That was very droopy ones. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you draw a cat? does look like a dog, really, but here we are. <clears throat> anyway, there are four dogs. There's the vicious hunting dogs that are following this person, and they chased away the, the fox. Who's, I like the fox. Fox is fun. Tip of the foot. There is the tip of the foot. Oh, wonder if that doesn't connect or something. Ah, oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Anyway, you, you encounter man, or tider, as the book decides to call them, because they like Lord of the Rings. We're making that fox our new friend. It's run away. It's long gone. Look, you got a frog. I was nice once. <laughs> what have we got? Um, we have asked Tider if he knows about Hammer. If nothing, move on. One for pretend to be jilted lover and slap horse. One ask Tider if he knows it's excreta excreta. It's an unfortunate name. Who would give their child the name Excreta Excreta? And one for Ignore Plot and Follow Fox to make it our new friend and pet. My nice this runs out? I mean, oh, hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, your own thing was... There we go. Um, yes, apparently it's a rude word. Catbot doesn't like it. Who kn Who knew? So what have we got? We have no real consensus on this matter. <laughs> Restore. Restore. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Anyone else getting two of your messages? No, I'm just having to um, accept it because they keep getting banned. Your messages keep getting flagged. So every time anyone says F-U-X, you, you're comment gets taken away. I don't think there are any I missed. Okay, cool. We're good. Um, I'm just going to have a little quick look at what actually happens in the book. I think I know what happens, but you better check. So it approves the mod version, but still bans a non-mod version. You broke mix. <laughs> it's not difficult, to be honest. This person has no face. Uh, you assume that they're not wearing something under the hood as well. We have no face, but you must smooch. There's a short story. Uh, okay, so generally speaking, we're... going a non-combat route, at the very least. So that's something to say. So... Pal torn between uh, the indecision of talking to this person and slapping the horse and hugging the horse and etc etc um, attempts to make some sort of communication with them where are we here we are so yes you attempt to uh, strike up some sort of conversation with them uh Presumably about a hammer, or possibly about being a jilted lover, etc. Insert head cannon here. The Master Rider. Hmm? 
yes, I am, I'm on the right page. Don't worry, don't worry about me. The Master Rider, which is apparently what a Tider is. Maybe it was a typo. Maybe it's supposed to just be Rider. Who knows? Makes it keeps telling you to rank up. Is it calling you a scrub? I suppose you need to be of a certain rank to do certain things. I don't know. You, that's, you, it just means watch stuff. Just watch, watch live things and you'll be fine. Uh, yes, so Pal attempts to make some sort of communication with the masked rider tider, and the rider says nothing back immediately. And they eventually hop off the horse, down from the mount, throwing back their cape and extending their right arm to shake your hand. You see that on the right hand, each of the fingers are adorned by a large gold ring. Do you shake the hand? Uh, I will not draw this, <laughs> for it involves changing a lot of what is already here. So instead, I, I will mess around. Ending details. Mix smooch a band word. It was originally, didn't it, when I uh, added a system of level based modding. But I got rid of that, so it's fine. I'm not a prude, this is Catbot, it's not me. I, I cannot control the Catbot. Any more than I already have, anyway. No one else has these issues on their streams. Has anyone decided to type in the letters F U X into anybody else's stream? Try it. Go go somewhere else and do try that. See if it works. I'm intrigued because I don't think I've done anything different to anyone else. I did originally, and then I corrected it. Oh, you meant smooch? Oh, yeah, that was me. That, that I said that was me. That's fine, and then I undid it because I didn't realize how strong it would be. Thought I was doing good things, but here we are. Let's just have a look at various things. Make sure I can improvise around what is said in the book. Yay! P. Prude and feisty today. Mmm, apparently. Who knows? <laughs> you guys are a better judge of my moods than me because I just feel stoical all the time. If the hand smooch goes well, we have found Pal's love interest. <laughs> To be fair, Pal has smooched several people before without issue. Or without being immediately attacked. Pal has tried to smooch things that did attack them, but... You know, these things happen. We have a hand smooch. Smooch the hand. Make smooch a band word. Ignore the hand, hug the horse. There's probably a comma in there. Ignore the hand, hug the horse. And smooch life. <clears throat> it's just one day the smooching is going to come back and bite us in the delicates. Yeah, maybe. There's not a lot left to find. You didn't vote, really? I, I, I would have thought make smooch a banned word would have been you, but there we are. Anywho. Uh, pal, pal goes in for the smooch. It was dark. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. My apologies. So Pal takes the hand and goes in for the smooch, as they do. The man draws back their hand before laughing to themselves, finding the situation relatively amusing, uh, and takes off their mask, explaining that they wore, them, they wore it to protect them from the dust and was not the, intending to appear menacing, despite also wearing the black cloak and jumping off and not saying anything. Because, you know, you've got to make an impression in this world. Maybe Pal likes getting bitten in the delegates. Maybe. Um, the man says that he is a hunter and uh, is hunting the best game in the northern borderlands as they can be found in the plains of Darkwood Forest which thus makes them not a forest. He says that the hounds were chasing a wild boar when they lost its scent and picked up the scent of the fox mistakenly. Uh, he warns you of some dangerous beasts that lurk in these parts and finally says, if you're going to spend the night in Darkwood, you might need some of this and drops some belladonna into your hand and jumps back on the stallion. Do you want to say, do you want to do anything before he, before he 
trots off to do some hunting. Got some belladonna, by the way. You got some belladonna. I don't know what belladonna looks like. I'm gonna assume it's a poison. And it's in powder form. So yeah, you get a, you get a little packet of belladonna. It's down here. It's, it's really, it's, it's in. It's powdery. Definitely belladonna. Nothing else. I mean, you don't have to accept it, obviously. You can give it back if you so desire. He just drops it into your hand. It's Plamps' Pokemon, Belladonna. Did we even ask him about the hammer? I mean, he's doing a lot of the talking. You didn't really decide what to say to him at all. You just kind of went, the, the, the horse, slap, slap hug horse. And the man was confused for a moment. <laughs> so decided not to say hello and instead just extended a hand for a handshake. Well, we have one vote for Ask the Chap about the quest and then one vote for Eat Belladonna. <laughs> I should have probably... Well, you haven't, you haven't accepted it yet, so I won't add it to your inventory. You're not a herbologist. Or herbologist. I'm not herbologist. I'm therebologist. Eating belladonna, probably bad. I understand it is poisonous. Accept belladonna and thank Tida. Ask about Hammer. If he knows nothing, dramatically wave him goodbye and have monologue with how you will never forget him. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that. Eat Belladonna, ask Chap about Quest. Uh, ask if they want a gold coin or a pair of slightly used nose filters. Ask about Hammer. So, yeah, ask. Accept Belladonna seems to be the way. One of them says eat, but I'll take that as accept. Uh, because you can't eat it without accepting it. <clears throat> you have to go. It's been nice to see you all again. Hopefully you'll be around a bit more. Well, have a wonderful time, Octo. Uh, look after yourself. Don't worry about catching up with everything we do. It's a chaotic mess. So, <laughs> just, you know, be be happy if you can. And, uh, yeah. If there's anything we can do to help that, do ask. Have a good time. Thank you for popping in. So, okay, yes. You accept the Belladonna. It goes into your inventory as so. And by so, I mean we're going to get a, an error image. Because I haven't drawn Belladonna. Be Belladonna, I can't say it. Take care. Goodbye. Enjoy yourself. So you accept it, and you mention your quest to find the hammer. As the man mounts his horse, he says, I I know nothing of this. I arrived very, very recently to hunt more. And do not speak to people in these parts. This place is extremely dangerous, hence the poison I just gave you. So look after yourself, little one. If you truly are in need of a hammer, I wish you the best of luck. Goodbye. And he blows his hunting horn. It's a very loud... <laughs> Like that. And he rides off into the distance. The dogs, definitely dogs, uh, following suit. There. They run off as well. Um, yeah. Sorry, Try. I keep forgetting I have that effect. And every time I do remember, I'm like, I've got to use it. You know? Okay, so he rides off and... Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Chibi. Anything I can do. Uh... Is the intention of these streams make, make people not make people, but let people have a good time? You meant you didn't let them let you give them more boar meat, but more beet, boar meat. Uh, alas, it wasn't a, a major. It, it it didn't get a majority, unfortunately. Where do you acquire all these effects from? It's literally a mixing desk I have. It has a bunch of effects on it. Um, I have. You have to set them up. There's an effects pass. You have to set them up, and there's only one you can have at any given time, so I just stuck Reverb on and I can use it. He didn't know they were hunting boar until he had them right off. Eh, there you go. You were holding the boar meat in your hand. You probably should have noticed. 
The dogs probably sniffed around you for a bit. But there we are. No, they caught the scent of the fox, so they probably wouldn't wouldn't care. Still still looking for the fox. Anyway, they, they rode off after the fox. Who is long gone, and you'll never see them again. Even though I, I love them. Look at them. So, yeah. <laughs> Stare at Chris, Chris like they're just... No, they're Justin Timberlake gift gif. Yeah, so they, they head off running off to the uh, to the west and you continue east and discover that the path simply matches up with the place you've been to before so this is where you found the hunter the the tider i'm terrible at drawing hoods are we going to know what this is when if we come back to this probably not are we going to know there's a mask Tider, done. Draw a headstone with a fox on it. <laughs> Not at this scale, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so you've uh, yeah, you've you've made that connection for the map, and you you found a friendly hunter who's probably currently trying to get his dogs away from just scraps of meat that they found on the side of the path. Where now? So just as a reminder, we can go south from the chair. Uh, the old oak chair covered in moss, just to remind you. We can instead decide to head east from the tree with squirrels in it. We can decide to go back to the house with the old woman or head east from there. We can head west from the crow. Uh, west, sorry. These are west. I'm bad. Uh... <laughs> West from these, we can go east from these, we can go north from here. It's quite a long stretch of path that we've missed there. There's this corner here, There's lots of places we can go to, or somewhere we've been to before to finish off. Like I said, we haven't finished this, we haven't finished these guys, the well, the asshole in the tall hat. Well, we kind of did. We gave him stuff and left. Uh, spider, giant, this place with the key, pterodactyl, we just left uh, tangled in a net. No, that might be it. Might be it. Oh yes, the the ape man in the tree. There's lots of stuff. Don't worry about it. You never go back to the asshole unless it's to murder him. <laughs> Who knows? Right, sooth from chair. What have we got? Sooth from chair. Yes, j just so anybody, uh, if you haven't, if you weren't here before, by before I mean last week. Exclamation mark ditto is the command you can use to vote for whatever the previous vote was. So. You're welcome to do that. And unfortunately, I, I like that. You just change your mind there. We go north from tree. North from tree, north from here. Here, you presume. Or south from here, or... We're at an impasse. If we're at an impasse for too long, I'll just roll a dice and we'll go from there. Is there such a thing as a D2? Not quite sure how this was. It's a coin, isn't it? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, D3. What's the D3? Is that a thing? Because D4, tetrahedron's the smallest I can think of. I don't know how you'd make a D3. There might be a way of making a D3. No, oh, no, you got a one. We have north from tree, south from chair, from chair. Just from chair, but I, I understand what you mean. Okay, so Pal decides to walk back through the boar viscera. Uh, the boar viscera has mysteriously disappeared uh, in the time that it's taken the hunter to run past you and you to get back there. Lord knows where that went. But visual G D3 is just a thing, is it? Mm. It's a tie? No, it's north from tree, south from chair, and then from chair. A D3 is just a D6. Well, I suppose you could do a one and a two is one thing, a two and a three and a four is another. I mean, theoretically, you could just get like a, you know, a D12 and use that as a D3 or a D4 or a D6. You know? Who needs all these other die? What's the plural? Die. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, just get a large divisible one. Get a D24. Get a hypercube, right? Paint all the dots on it. And then you'll have a D24. Oh, there's two from North. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to the number coming underneath the vote, because the votes are usually long enough for that to happen, that I, I didn't realise it was next to it. That's my fault. Sorry, Try. That was, that was me. Okay, we're going for North from the tree. Okay. So... Yes, but it's a D6 with two, one, two, and three sides. So yeah, again, like, why don't you just... That seems like a waste. <laughs> Be more. I'm sure we can be more creative than that. If a D2 is a coin, how would you... We need to extrapolate. What's in between a coin and a tetrahedron? Hmm, never know. Anyway, we're going to go north from the tree. So Powell decides to... After discovering that the Borvisera has disappeared and that there's just a chair south, uh, they walk back again along this field. It's been a, the sun is getting very warm. Um... They recall that uh, not too far away from here is an angry barbarian, which um, they just kind of ran away from. And as a consequence, slinks back into the tall grass, um, tries to stay hidden as best as possible, heads further east along the edge of the forest, uh, recalling that time that they sent away some old tree men and one baby tree men to presumably destroy a village. Um, decides not to annoy the ape person and heads north from their house which they remembered they did not head north from before this gives d6 multiple uses stop complicating things no i'm not complicating things i'm just saying if you want to make things much simpler just use the d12 that works as a d3 a d4 and a d6 and a d2 12 is a very divisible number so yeah i need to work out what page we're on you just thought you talked about it logically with your brain you didn't know how a d3 would work yeah it's yeah strange. You have too many dice already. I know, I'm just saying, get a d12. You only need one. And a d20 as well, because it doesn't work about that. And a d20 can act as a d5, if you need that. For any prime numbers, you're going to need to just get one of those. But, uh, yeah. Right, where are we? We are going north of the tree. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a note for this area, and it's interesting. Uh, rice. This bodes well. You put a picture of a D3 in Discord. You could do like a kind of spinning top kind of thing. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So instead of using a face, you use an edge. I like that. That's, that's inventive. Triangular prism sort of thing. It's cool. I like that. Neat. So yes, this is what I'm going to have to draw. <clears throat> um, heading north from the ape man's tree, uh, the path cuts through the grass uh, because you've you've not had enough of hay fever at this particular point in time. I don't know. Does Bell get hay fever? I'm sure you can work that out. Do goblins get hay fever? Who knows? Is hay a thing in this world? Although visibility is relatively good because your eyes are above the level of the grass. You feel uneasy about any creatures which may be stalking you on either side. You know that there are wild boars and foxes and uh, definitely dogs. And also some of this grass does strangle you of its own accord. Suddenly, suddenly, the grass to your left moves and two wooden tubes appear, pointing straight at you. They are blowpipes belonging to two pygmies who blow two darts at you. Marvellous. Pygmies! Um, roll 2d6. That's a 10. Um, one of the dots lodges into your neck. It's a good start, isn't it? You got a die in your neck. What are you gonna do? Um, luckily, they're in grass, so I don't have to draw them. I can just draw their blowpipes. Probably should draw Pal at some point. 
Uh, they were to the left of the path, so I'm going to have to do this on the other side. Look at that magic. Try harder than that, Chris. That would be great. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm just going to draw for a second. Hope you don't mind. Have, hope you're having all a wonderful time. And or hope you're all having a wonderful time, as grammar dictates. You're also colouring instant. Fantastic. Marvellous. Doing a draw. Wonderful. Share draws. Draws are cool. Only if you want to, obviously. Share progress of Ernst and later. Fantastic. I apologize for streaming Dark Souls and as a consequence being the instigator of this. Dark Souls 2 on stream, have we? I mean, there might be a reason for that, but... Oh, we could do a nonsense thing of that. I'm pretty sure both mods exist. Oh, I should, I should, as ever, as ever, should point out music for this stream, courtesy of our good friend, Adrian von Ziegler, whose work I should absolutely link in the bottom of my mixer thing. I should also do it on the, way, on the um, YouTube videos. That's, that's an absolute definite. Remind me to do that at some point. What was I going to do with this arm? I was going to do something with this arm. Is it make it anatomically correct? Probably not. And remember to smash that subscribe button and headbutt the bell. And do some sort of other physical assault with regards to the, to the like. Perform assault and battery on the like. Do 
Don't know what to do with this arm. I don't like the idea that it's there. It's fine. Put it in front. It'll be good. It'll be grand. Everybody's waiting for me to read the votes. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Hanging on to his. They're just hanging on to their. Um, satchel strap. Always, always miss that. Long distance shotgun the like button. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Do that. So that's the bag. This is the. Whenever I try and do some sort of dynamic stretchy pose, it always ends up with them just kind of standing still and flat, you know? I need, I need to learn more about, you know, starting with a line of action and ending with it resembling that line of action. That'd be great. Speaking of great, I still need to watch Doctor Who. The ne next series will probably be starting soon. You're not wearing trousers, are you? You're wearing shorts. This thing, which conveniently hides any join. Oh, this is happening in long grass. Why am I drawing this? <laughs> I had the perfect out, which I've used on no less than four or five occasions. And here I am. Brain the size of a planet. No. This is how Pal walks. Don't worry about it. It's getting chilly, but your hoodie isn't getting here till Friday. Oh no! Improvise. Wear a pair of shorts on your head or something. That's that's not going to help. Sorry. So in a moment of growth, you started uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood again. I assume that's what that stands for. Ah, that's the hoodie you made. Fantastic, marvelous. I hope it comes out excellently. Oh, I try and then fail. It's fine. Right, uh, so this happened, and over here is some tall grass. Like this. And protruding from said tall grass uh, carries on around here. And over here is some... Um, uh, well, I suppose this is from this direction, so back here would just be forest, wouldn't it? Perspective, you're not my friend. You're my oldest enemy. Screw you. Right. <clears throat> you're having full use of your blanket right now. Wonderful. 
Could get blanket being left to walk away from the stream. Fate worse than cold. Oh no. So, pal gets dart in neck. We have two votes for get out dart, drink potion of anti poison, run! Run! Right, hope so. Pal quickly plucks out the dart, rummages through the bag, which is uh, well sorted enough to. Uh, to find the po potion of anti-poison relatively quickly, um, chugs it, uh, and then runs. I presume we want to run north, yes? Sorry, I'm just looking through the book, making sure I know what's going to happen. Okay, cool. cool. North, yes, Norg, Norg. Okay, cool. So you you take out the dart, or Pal takes out the dart, chugs the potion, and just sprints off to the north. As Pal is sprinting, they feel their neck stiffen slightly, um, but after a while, it sort of wears out. Um, just a slight, slight pin prick, um, which is sensitive, but. Uh, Otherwise, relatively okay. Um, and Pal comes out pretty much unscathed, but has lost the potion of anti-poison. That has been used up. Bingo. Done. Goodbye, potion. So you run away from the encounter with the pygmies. It's getting a bit darker at this point, but you uh, you continue running north. Away from the pygmy darts. Um, you assume they were pygmies anyway. All you saw were two blow darts. Right. <laughs> okay. There we have a cat. We have a friend, who it is a shame they are not here right now. Um, but if they watch the vod, hello. How you doing? As the path proceeds northwards, the grass becomes shorter and the ground starts to rise gently. You don't see any pygmies chasing after you, and as a consequence, you feel safe enough to be able to walk slowly now. Um, ahead of you, you can hear the sound of flowing water. The, the river that you have seen several times at this point, full of eels. Um, however, much more ominous, you also hear another sound. A sound above you, in the sky. A loud, buzzing sound. Suddenly, I wonder how many times that word exists in this book. Suddenly, a swarm of large bees, each bee some ten centimetres long, is hovering directly above you. Where's plants when you need them? Bees! There's supposed to be an S on the end of that, but it's fine. How am I going to draw this? They're like 10 centimeters, so it's, like, it's pretty big for a bee. And we're quite small. Unhinges joy, exactly. <laughs> the one time bees are involved and Plamps is not here. Consume bees. This seems to be the only mouth I actually draw on, pal. <laughs> Do it for bees. Scatter away bees with torch fire. Many, many ideas. I'm just going to draw pal running away from bees because I want to draw pal running away from bees. It might not be what's happening, but I want to draw it. How do you run? Where do your arms go? Haha. <laughs> 
<laughs> I forgot about that episode. That's a weird episode. <laughs> Future armor. Um. Yeah, goblin is a weird to draw from the side, but here we are. Run away where your arms go wee like flailing, I suppose. D does Pal run with arms back like that? For a second, you thought you were going to put a tiny top hat on Pal's pomp. He got very excited. When they just track the bees more. Look, this isn't what that's what's actually happening. I just want to draw it. It's fine. Are oh, you talking about the flailing? Oh, okay. I mean, you don't, you don't, you're not thinking in this scenario. There's massive bees, absolutely massive bees that you've just encountered that are approximately seven times larger than any other bee you've ever encountered in your life. You don't know if they're friendly. He's a very bad pal running away from bees. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now for the bees. They look better in my head. Here we are. So pal's probably like one meter. So these are a tenth of the size of pal. Um, are the bees trans? Uh, alas, I am not coloring this. But you you are welcome to color however you so desire. And if they if you were intend to colour them in the colours of the trans pride flag, you are more than welcome. It's like Minecraft, but you have to skin it, because there is no skin to begin with. It's all, it's all monochrome, I'm afraid. Um, here's the thing, have you seen how cute bees are? Bees are cute! I do like bees. Bees sexual. Uh, okay, so how's how's this gonna work? How's about that big? So it's about that. So about this big. <laughs> Jimmy's filling in for miss. Someone's gotta do it. Hang on a second, I just want to see. Don't know how you indicate his pump, but do it. Um, boots, new boots. Stromp, who knows. Uh, where did I do the thing? Yes, yeah, large bees, cool. I don't, I don't know. Do they have like additional small wings behind? I don't know. I 
These these friends have have large stingers. This one's angry. Sometimes it's just not having a good day, you know? This one's very happy. Sometimes this happens in the Forest of Doom. There's an interesting kind of story going on, and I'm here drawing beads. This one has short legs. One baby bee? Okay. Mm. There's a baby bee. A baby bee. Bee bee bee. Got big eyes. Never what nice eyes. Ah, for symmetry and the number one hit. Please! Thank you very much for the panda. Chunky bee. This is meant to be small, but he's had so much pollen. All right, bees. What are we doing with bees? We have consumed bees. Dutiful bees invite to BK. Um, and one scare bees away with torch fire. Those are very different answers. And they all, let me check, have one vote. I checked. You're welcome. You should beat your tongue. Oh, no, that's not good. How did it taste? Poorly. Oh, that was a pun. I didn't... <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> don't even know I'm making them. Right, bees. Bees. I can continue drawing bees until a consensus is reached. Or should we roll a d3? I need to get a toe blower in. Do I have a Toblerone? No. Voy! B3? Ah, oh, that's different. Like, these are, these are like square, aren't they? And Bs are round, I think. I mean, you mostly see like A's and triple A's and things like that. You bit your tongue, you're distracted. That's fine. Let's go Bs away with fire. Okay, so. I'm presuming at this point we do still have a fire from having roasted the uh, the boar. I haven't been drawing it, but it's there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And you wave your fire at the bees. Uh, this does not necessarily dissuade the bees. Um, some of them seem to stay away from you, but they still hang around you and follow you where you're going. Um, so yeah, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're not scared. But they are, they're not attacking immediately because fire, scary. And they're covered in fluff, you know? You just bit your tongue, you're distracted. That's fair enough, you know? I have that when I bite my lip or the inside of my mouth. It's like, ah, ah, ah.
Didn't really try with these hands, did I? Whatever we have be friends now onwards, continue whichever bee follows us is now our friend. Uh, we are now in we are in with bees now. Just read it ahead, making sure. See, I should plan ahead with these things, but then again, I have no idea where you're going. My apologies for the dead air. Okay, now I've got to find with... Where were we with the bees? Bees! Bees. Okay, so uh, improvisation time. Fantastic. Okay, so pal, um, ask what's the buzz? Yeah, we have uh, whatever be friends onwards, continue whichever be follows. Okay, so pal decides to continue with this large swarm of large stinged bees. Um, following them, they come to a. Uh, hang on, let me go to the thing. Somewhere Miss knows these word crimes and is laughing. I know, it's. It's a thing. Uh, let me hang on. Let me just sort some stuff out. So I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Want to have all the information at my disposal? Okay, you come. You you continue up. It's getting dark. At this particular point in time, you've been walking through the plains for a long time and the sound of buzzing is starting to irritate you, but they still haven't managed to attack you because you're still swinging around fire. Uh, they're going for it, though. They're trying. They're trying. In fact, roll 2d6. Okay, <laughs> maybe someone else roll. They just want a hug, not attack. Um, okay, so along your journey, they have stung you several times at this particular point. Um, you can lo you lose a couple of health because you insist on carrying them with you. Gifts. Um, do do. Let me check the thing. And look at the smooth movement. Hopefully, it works. Look at the health bar. Ah, it moves. Go down slowly. Ah, I like that. Um. Reminders of your friendship. You lost a couple of health. You now come to the river. It's dusk. The sun sets over the horizon. It's been a long day since you killed a fish man. And you have returned to the river. The waterfall of which you were under not 12 hours ago. Um, it was 13, actually. But uh, you walk for a while. It's a long game. But it's starting. the sun's starting to set and you come across the river. The river... There is a bridge. An old rickety bridge leading across the river this time, which you can attempt to scale um, while still flailing a flaming torch, or you can attempt to go through the water and your torch will be extinguished in doing so. Or you can walk along the river. You can do what you like. You've encountered a river. The bees are still around you. What are you going to do?
Rickety is in just unstable or his parts missing. A few of the planks are missing, but it looks traversable. Uh, you just saw the votes, we'll see. One for cross bridge, one for make a beeline for the bridge. <clears throat> one for make a non bee pun related way to cross the bridge. We're crossing the bridge by the looks of it. Um, right. So, Pal uh, decides to cross the bridge. Um, let me see if I actually kept the page. If not, well, I can sort that out. It's fine. Right, um, Pal's still shaking the torch around, um, attempting to cross the bridge. Uh, the bridge is in a terrible state of um, repair, uh, but somehow you seem to be managing to cross it safely. Um, roll 2d6. Jimmy's refusing to roll at this point. Um, despite flapping your arms around with a great big flame and some bees stinging you. Hello, Kiro, how are you doing? We have a swarm of bees following us. Hope you don't mind. Uh... <laughs> We're currently walking across a rickety bridge while Pal is waving a torch around trying to keep bees away. Um... So, yeah. Pam's unhinged her jaw, and now bees are our friend, indeed. Hello, Kira, how you doing? You, you having a good day? Been going well? So yes, we we you somehow successfully crossed the bridge uh, without destroying the bridge yourself or bees. You just got home. Marvellous. Hope you had a good time. It is now, as you are working your way up to the hills in the distance, because there are hills on this side, if you recall. Um, as you work your way up the hills, as you have done many a time, the sun sets fully. The moon is at its at its thinnest without being completely having completely vanished. Um, and you worry that your attempts to stave off the bees will not last you through the night, as you are beginning to run out of energy. You're tired, you have a headache, but otherwise you're doing okay. You have pizza! Fantastic! Marvellous. Um, you hear the sound of howling wolves in the distance. As night sets in, what do you want to do? A 
I kind of want to draw the bridge thing now. I'll draw the bridge thing while you're working out what to do. I don't think I like any smooches. <clears throat> well. Oh yeah, we also ran away from some pygmies. We found a tider. Also known as a hunter. <laughs> Somebody on a horse with four dogs. Um, they were nice. They were a friend. Um, yeah, got shot in the neck with some by a dart from some pygmies. That was a thing. Try to raise your one true love in this game. <laughs> that is true. You did say that at the time. Allow wolves to consume you. I mean, that's not necessarily the best action made for survival. <clears throat> Did we already cross the bridge? We, we've crossed the bridge. We're working our way up the hills at the moment. I just want to draw a pal on the bridge. Drew Pal's pose and the first thing you thought was a Macarena. <laughs> Zed the Macarena. It's the Macarena way. Thank you. Sorry, the, the W is next to E. And as a consequence, the magic wand is next to Erase. So when I want to erase, I occasionally click the wand. Makes sense in my head. <laughs> Bit better.
Uh, for real though, you don't know if campfire would be good enough, you know there's a werewolf out there. I mean... It's the forest of doom! You never know what to expect. Also, you know, animals, they stay away from fire. But they can go around fire. Unless you're in fire. Doesn't necessarily help. Oh, I forgot to mention, Kiro, the bees are pretty large. Um, I think they said about 10 centimetres, and given that Pal is quite small, um, in comparison, these things are pretty sizable. And to be accurate, wolves do tend to shy away from campfires. Um, yes, but bees also don't tend to be 10 centimetres long. Bees, they follow. Right. That's not a terrible sketch for a half-decent drawing. <laughs> One day I may finish it. Who knows? Be a good poster for the whole thing. Just have Pal there with the bees following, and then the rain cloud above, and the pterodactyl, and then the werewolf there, and the blood eels jumping out. It'd be a cool promotional thing. Uh, right, what have we got? We have three for make campfire to keep wolves and bees away. One for find wolves and give them smooches. One for build hive to keep wolves away. <laughs> you know one of those instances where you say something and then then it registers what you've just said yeah <laughs> uh where are we we do 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 and scooby dooby da ba da ba 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 I'm the scat man um right The four inch bees right there, ninety five percent of your life. What? Who, what? Can you suggest the scene um, as one that Miss can make dope? Yeah, I mean, it, it's up to Miss ultimately, but that's sure. Haven't seen any sign of her all day. She's been posting art in the uh, the thing. She posted the good good chair. Let's look at the good good chair. There's a good good chair. Look at that. It's a good good chair. Um, she also did a very good picture for Lewis. It's very cool. Anyway, back to this. Okie doke, so, um, Pal pitches up for the night, um, getting very tired, um, but decides to set a campfire to try and keep the bees away. The bees continue to hover overhead, um, seemingly very patient creatures, uh, and the howls of the wolves draw ever near as the darkness gets closer. Um, just miss art, it's just art today. I mean, you know, they don't have to pop in every day, it's absolutely fine. Um... As you sit there, unable to sleep for the sound of buzzing, 
I hope she's doing a take care. Hopefully, yeah. What I miss to be happy. Doing a yoga, yeah. She's missed absolutely, hence the name. Um, yes, so you set up the campfire, you're unable to sleep because the bees are buzzing overhead and you see through the gloom and the bushes three pairs of eyes start to emerge through the darkness towards you. Roll 2d6. Every roll in this game is a 2d6. <laughs> I might as well just set up exclamation mark roll to be roll 2d6. He hasn't rolled. Kira, you haven't rolled. Don't think Emily's rolled. As, as the snapping of twigs and the approaching eyes of the wolves appear to get closer and closer, the bees appear somewhat distracted by the presence of another creature not currently sitting next to fire and buzz off in the general direction of the wolves. The wolves take flight, clearly knowing these things, evidently they live ne relatively near to each other, and the killer bees, as they were, fly away to chase two of the wolves. One of the wolves stays behind. There is still a wolf and a bonfire. There's a wolf! Solve one problem with another problem. Look, I, I'm nothing if not a generous GM. <laughs> so now I want to draw that. <laughs> There's a wolf! So now I've got to draw wolves. Uh, okay. We started off with a fox running away from dogs, now we're running, drawing dogs running away from bees. They draw a dog in there. <laughs> it's a wolf. It's a vicious wolf. Look at it. Imagine getting bitten by this thing. I should probably learn how to draw a wolf at some point, <laughs> rather than just drawing hairy dogs, but here we are. Again, I'm not allowed to use reference in this. I suppose I can use general reference, I'm just not allowed to use specific book reference. How, how do dog legs do? This one's more scared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the wolves! They got split up. Oh. The angry bee leads the way. If anybody wants to know how to draw a bee quickly, I'm pretty sure you've got enough of a tutorial at this point. A 
Right, we have uh, three votes for Ready Sword and Ye Bore Mead at Wolf, so it leaves us alone or tame it. If it moves to attack us, then use our sword on it. And one vote for Smooch the Wolf. Uh, the BB, the angry one, and the flipping one, yeah. I'm gonna give him some personality. Oh, hang on, I forgot the. I forgot. Clamp B. Right. Cool. Uh, beauties, indeed. Yes, so, okay, so what are we doing? Ready sword. Pal takes out their sword, as per instruction, from the brain. Um, picks out one more piece of boar meat. I forgot to take out... No, no, you didn't actually use the boar meat last time, did you? Um, takes out the boar meat, ready cooked, um, and throws it at the wolf over the fire, um, as far away as possible. Uh, but in such a way that the wolf knows it and can smell it. Um, the wolf follows the instructions of 2d6. Because <laughs> I'm like that. Nothing like breaking up the uh, the pace of a tense scene with a roll of two die. Uh, the wolf follows the scent of the meat. Um... But presumably not for long. It wasn't. It wasn't a particularly large piece of meat. It was enough for a provision for a goblin. As a consequence, you are still out in the middle of the night with a bonfire. You're still very tired from your flapping your arms around with a torch, um, and you have lost a provision. You have average luck. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> So yes, the wolf has been distracted, at least temporarily. What do you want to do for the rest of the evening? And all night? I don't know why I gave this a title. <laughs> never, never know what to do. You're in the plains of the forest. You're, you're in the hills at the moment. You're not, you're not within the forest. And this is, this is hills back here. Conspicuously, the same place where you have met various other creatures after having slept in the night. It's odd that it always happens here, isn't it? In other words, you could sleep in tree. There are sparse trees, um, but there aren't many for quite a while away. And the nearest tree you know of in this particular area had a massive spider in it. So... Continue walking for eternity. So we only have one vote so far as to what to do. Just to remind you, you have thrown a piece of meat um, to distract a wolf. The other two wolves have been distracted by being attacked by killer bees. They unfortunately do not have the luxury of a torch. So you're currently in a situation where you're quite tired. It's the middle of the night. Uh, well, it's just started being night, I should say. <clears throat> well, no, it's probably been night for about an hour. It's been a while flapping the bees away. The wolves took a while to arrive. Um, yeah. If you decide to uh, to not sleep, what do you what do you want to do having not slept? Are you just going to stay there and attempt to fend off the wolf if it comes back, or 
because otherwise I'm just going to ask you, okay, you don't sleep, what do you do now? <laughs> Adventuring alone was a terrible idea. Look, Pal was just out and about, having fun, and then a dwarf died in front of them. I was like, oh, this is a time-critical mission. Please. Uh, hang on, let me just look at some things to make sure I know what's going on. Do 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 I should probably be deducting luck every time you're lucky. That's, that's something I probably should be doing. Um, I stopped doing it at some point because it felt like if you're going to do the entire book because I allow you to, you shouldn't have those sorts of penalties. So that you actually have a chance. <laughs> what do we got? We have one for pull a try and don't sleep. One for dupe to stay awake. One for keep our sword ready and eat some bread. And one for stoke the fire and sleep. The fire will keep the wolves away. So, generally speaking, we are going to stay awake, play on the recorder, and eat some bread. Um, okay, so um, Pal decides that it is best to stay awake, uh, but not move on, um, and just attempt to sleep. Oh, sorry, attempt to uh, stay by the campfire somewhere where it's relatively safe. You, uh, you get some bread out, have a little munch. Get some health. Four health. Yeah, it does involve eating provision, which means that goes down. But you get health, so it's fine. Um, <clears throat> and you play the recorder to try and keep your spirits up. Unfortunately, you are still very tired, so temporarily, at least, um, your skill drops to eight. Um, because you're not fighting at your best at this particular point in time. Uh... And when I say fighting, I mean the wolf returns eventually after a while because it realizes, oh, this thing gave me food. Where's more food? Um, the wolf returns. It has been an hour. <laughs> it is still night. Still resolutely night. <laughs> I forgot I can make notes in my my thing. Keep track of the why your skill is down. So yes, Pal is just sitting very tired by the bonfire. The bonfire's there. It's somewhat keeping the wolf away. But Pal does know that the wolf would very easily just go around and attack it. If it doesn't if Pal doesn't keep its wits their wits alert. So yes. a rough fire. We'll ignore how Pal actually managed to start a fire. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Some twigs and stuff. Anyway, what do we all have planned for the rest of the week, by the way? This is my first stream of the week, because of reasons, and I forgot to host Chibi while they were doing theirs. And by forgot, I mean I wasn't present. I need, I need to set up that thing Tri's got, auto-hosting. Um, I believe our sword does say Jin, for reasons. Then smooch right on the forehead.
Uh, you're planning to stream tomorrow? Fantastic. Try not to procrastinate too hard on studying and hopefully not die. I sincerely hope um, the last one definitely happens, but... Uh, I look forward to the first. Um, I would be pleased if the second occurs. Um, and I would like to think that the last one is a, a certainty, so... Yeah, you're not allowed to die, Crow said. See? die make sure you come back as a ghost and then uh, uh follow me around and then we can prove that ghosts exist that'd be great speaking of not dying what the, what the heck is pat can, pal gonna do i don't know i'm just the illustrator you guys are playing this game <laughs> powerful stuff Sorry, Emily. But with, with respect, I, I can imagine if I were to take your your ethereal ghostly form into a scientific environment, um, it wouldn't be the most orderly of events. <laughs> there would be chaos and smooching and all these sorts of things. Very unscientific. They would They would kick me out. It'd be my fault, ultimately, but, uh... By the way, we have two minutes until uh, nine o'clock, so it's probably best not to vote right now, but, uh... We have plenty of time to think about it. So much ghost smooching. <gasps> ghost smooch. Whoops. Come up with plan next time. That's... Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know how to draw things. Uh, okay, so there's sort of like a backpack, and then there's the thing. 
Right, so Ribbit's in there, it's nice and warm. But isn't this an exciting end to the stream? Uh, but it did it did do it do it do it do You have to see the stuff how the sausage gets made. Unfortunately, this isn't sausage, this is spam. Um, this will never be made into something as good as sausage. But here we are. Miss, Miss will use, as a, use it as inspiration to make just some amazing steak. It's like prime steak with lots of, I don't I don't really meet, eat meat so I, I can't even continue this analogy I don't, I don't know what counts as good meat um, not a vegetarian or anything I just very little interest um, so yeah what I'm trying to say is the best you're gonna get out of this whole situation is the miss will turn this into something good I, I want to redo the bridge scene because I found that quite funny. Why am I using such a big brush? There's a question. Massive brush. Oh well, here we are. Probably the bees. I just wanted to do the bees faster. So, okay, we are in a bit of a sticky situation with wolves. It's the night. Um, actually, I, I said it was the small sliver of the moon, but it's actually sort of a small sliver just off the moon because we did encounter a werewolf last time. Um, so... Probably quite a lot of the moon still up. You know what I mean? Meat is expensive. That is true. I'm trying to say you like your sausage. And on that note, <laughs> where's the sword in the wolf's mouth? Funnily enough, the next the next um, Foggate comic I have to sketch is Seif, so I'm going to have to draw that at some point. There is no sword, unfortunately, here. Um, there are, however, over here... Ooh. I've got an advert. <laughs> How dare you? I'm listening to free music. Shush. Darn the Adrian von Ziegler. <laughs> Putting adverts on your YouTube videos. <laughs> anyway, there's the walls running away from the bees. Best dog Osif. Yes. Um, right, cool, that's where we end off, even though we have two votes for come up with a plan next time, so that's the majority, so that's what we have to do. One for Scare Wolf Away with Fire Capsule, and one for Use Our Rope of Climbing to Lasso Dogu. So yeah, um, there's been some alright pictures today. I've got other, I, I went more cartoony today, which is, I think, beneficial to some of the stuff we did. Thank you for the stickers. Yeah, there are quite a few drawings, just sort of quicker ones. Is. Yeah, th th this is when the brush got big. <laughs> you, can, you can see where I gave up. Um, got thwomped in the neck. We, we met Strider, Tider thing, and, and the fox. I think this was the first thing I drew. <laughs> oh, I love this little guy. We kind of started how we ended, and ended how we started. Um, so, yeah. 
Thank you everyone for coming along. Uh, this was a stream. Definitely happened. Here's a chair. Very good chair by our good friend, Just Miss Art. Um, as usual, I do usually say this. Well, I don't usually say it. It's written on screen. Um, to go and check out the full work on Twitter. I don't know if, if it's on Twitter. I keep forgetting to look to retweet it because I'm an idiot. Um, it feels weird retweeting it at the end. Okay, it's not that. I, I'm not an idiot. Don't worry. Um, when did you have the Fox speech? Well, relatively early. I think I think this was when Strider got off and shook your hand and I, I didn't want to draw that, so I did this. Um, all right, sorry, I did. Oh, this. That's what I did. Anyway. But yes, do check out Mrs. Um, Art if, it, if and when it gets posted on uh, the Instagrams and all the Twitters because it's very good and it's got a lot of detail in this one. A lot of nice little hidden details in the chat. Um, in the design and the sculpture and all that sort of stuff. It's very good. I like this one. It's cool. I like all of them. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for coming along. Apologies again for not having a stream yesterday, but there was a good chippy stream yesterday instead, so that was good. Lo lovely. Excellent replacement and such. Um, yeah. So we have, again, chippy stream tomorrow. How do you know it's good? Because people have been telling me that it was good. And you did it. And I did see a little bit of it. And I was confused. There was a crow, or someone, there was... A person, there was an arrow pointing to them saying that there was crow. I don't know. Um, I need to catch up. It's fine. Thank you for coming along. Um, yeah, I, I literally popped in for like a minute. So I, I had no context for what was going on. <laughs> there was a man and a woman and somebody with, with a hat, maybe? Everyone said the person was giving off crow vibes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough, it works. If you're watching this on YouTube... Um, or on the VOD or whatever, do check out um, Chibi Netherlands and their channel. I, I think I have their channel in my like recommended channels thing on my thing on YouTube. So that I, I hope that VOD's up on there um, or will be up on there at some point because it's Chibi does good things and is the second person in the world to do draw throughs. <laughs> it's very cool. I, I like starting a, a trend that is picked up by people and done in new and original ways. It's cool. Got a shout out? Absolutely. Again, uh, you have a shout out for tomorrow as well. To be Nether's Days. Parsnips. No, slice the parsnip. Peel the parsnip. Cut the parsnip. Oil and salt. <laughs> Put in the oven. Crispy parsnips. Thank you for the recipe. Um, <laughs> draw through will be up on the YouTube. Fantastic. Marvellous. Check out Chibi Netherlands' YouTube channel and, all, and the mix one. Um, as is your Age of Mythology campaign, which I also need to watch. I watched a bit of the beginning and then I had to do other things because... Um, extensive gif, 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 gif. Yes, I forgot to forgot to say both pronunciations that time. So we have Chibi Nether's Days tomorrow. We have uh, Friday is... Oops, I think. Friday... And I think Dark's doing some things on Friday. Wait, when's the, um, the one-off thing happening? When's that happening? Is that Friday? The... Um, Dungeon World, that's the one. Is that a Friday thing? I should have chat up on here, really, shouldn't I? That's fine. Chat is happening Friday. Fantastic. Excellent. Cool. So there's a one-off uh, RPG, Dungeon World, uh, with friends, happening, I think, on Dark's channel. Is that? Is it being streamed? Dramatic Sounds. Ah. Your favourite moment is... It is. Wonderful. So look up Dark Sun Rebel, um, their Mixer channel, for that. If anyone's watching who doesn't know of this thing... Tries playing Breath of Fire 3 tonight. Fantastic. So try Triforce, also doing good things. Many people doing good things. Emily, obviously, with the uh, the daily Pokemon streams, which are very cool. Um, nearing the end, but getting there. And, uh, yeah. Took some took some doing, some dedication to get that many done. <laughs> um, every single day. But uh, you're going to do some more chill Surge 2 over in the disco soon. Wonderful. Lots of people doing good entertainment and excellent times. Thank you everyone for coming along to my uh, hopefully good entertainment and hopefully good relaxing times. Um, yeah. XCOM on Saturday. Where's the X? Hang on. I organise things differently in my OBS so it's cleaner. Uh, there it is. XCOM on Saturday. Where we might be doing an alien base, I suppose. I can't remember how we ended. 
we probably ended. Oh yeah, we ended after a horror, uh, the just the mission of hell, <laughs> the everything at once mission. I forgot about that. Okay, so an alien base by comparison is probably going to be easy, but well, maybe not. Ten sector pods at once. <sighs> Who knows? We'll find out on Saturday. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Be good. Be kind. Um, be be happy, if possible. And if not possible, uh, get get your friends to help because friends are good at that kind of thing. Goodbye.